Okay, okay. this will be this will be a good match though. Hugo versus Chevy. Yeah, Hugo versus Chevy. Um, Mario Toon Link, and you know, uh, Tyroy went Mario yesterday against Hugo. Yeah, I was with some decent success. Really, he took. He took him to game three. I didn't see. I, okay. I didn't actually get a chance to watch the games particularly. I just know that he did indeed take a game. Okay. And so we're gonna see how Huga here deals, uh, with, Chevy's deals Mario. with Chevy's Mario, which is the campiest Mario in <laughs> Chicago, as this is Exhibit A. And yeah, yeah. Sitting definitely, on a special definitely, platform fireballs. Definitely our most offensive Mario for sure. And right now, this is exactly how we expect Chevy to play. So I haven't seen Tyro's Mario. How defensive or? I guess I'm not really sure what style. It's a... Oh, okay. Ooh. Well, Hugo is getting so much mileage off of these reads right now. He got he got one hit, and he turned it into all that damage. And this is what I noticed yesterday, and in retrospect, every time I've seen Hugo play, is just, I think that he maximizes every single punish. I think I think you have to as Toon Link. Yeah, he knows every, like, he knows every situation where you can get a bomb out, and then the knockback of every single situation of a bomb, and what yep. aerial it then indeed follows up to for maximum damage. And he, you're right, he needs every single bit of that mileage. And there's a bomb forward there that's going to get him off stage. Yep. Yep. That was that was nice. The boomerang helped cover his jab for him. I okay. thought he was going to back air. <laughs> it's, not, it's not brawl back air, though. Brawl back air would have, like, clean killed at 100 plus. <laughs> right. Smash 4 back air is a little bit nerfed, but you get the that forward was a air little, That was a little force of an up smash. Whoa. Good on, wow. It was going on Chevy to get that down smash, but that bomb. Yeah, that. I, I wonder if he could attack that. Uh, it is. I'd have to watch it back to really. It's pretty close to the wall. Corner. Yeah. It, it's one of those things where it like catches you when, you, like, right when you're grabbing, and then you yeah. just kind of be really sad about it afterwards. But right now, Chevy, he's retreating back to his Smashville platform. His and little see, home the, base. The, 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 and the, Hugo doesn't even like go forward. When Chevy ran back to the platform and started camping fireballs, Chevy didn't even move. He just sat there because he knew the, the fireballs couldn't reach him. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Hugo is really good about his positioning. And well, he's, he's also he's so patient that he's not going to run in and try and get around the fireballs. He's just thinking, I'm in the lead. Yeah, exactly. You're not generating any pressure against me. You're just throwing fireballs. Mm -hmm. it's, it's not really like advancing Chevy's game plan. Right. When he's behind, and there's it, the frame trap into itself. That was a little. <laughs> Two links up airs. Well, oh, and there's that another air dodge read. That was that was a great tomahawk mm -hmm. to catch the air dodge. Hugo is a master of that he got so much mileage out of that at Poplar yesterday. Yeah, and he's, there's another victim. <laughs> he's a great player. Mm -hmm. Let's see if Chevy can adjust though. I know he can. You're you're right though. His his fireball camping ways uh, haven't. Really, if Chevy's in the lead, put him in a position to really, like, get any. If mileage Chevy's though. if Chevy's in the lead, he can get a lot of mileage out of it. But if he's mm -hmm. not in the lead, Hugo is just sitting there because he has no reason to dance around fireballs. Yeah, and the fireball they trade pretty well like, look, with. Uh, yeah, he has no. He feels. I, I feel like he's not there. Yeah, I feel like he's not feeling enough pressure. Mm -hmm. Um, like he's definitely feeling comfortable. He's not feeling uncomfortable. He's just when, like when Chevy's, look, when Chevy's on the platform like this, look at the stage control generates here for Hugo. He just, I mean, and he has and it. And even though you think, oh, being on being on the right side of the, being on the ledge of the stage, no stage control, it's not true at all. Mm -hmm. At least for for, uh, especially when Mario is like caught in the fireball animation, that lasts like thirty frames. Right, but it, yeah, when Chevy's on one side and Hugo's on the other, and Hugo's in the lead, their the stage control is definitely Hugo's at that point. Mm -hmm. Now Mario's got to find a way in, yeah. and he tries to do it with the down air. But now, if Tain Link's too short, you know, if Chevy can find a way in, put on some damage, and get in the lead, then he can start camping fireballs. Yeah, that was uh, that was cute. Double bomb to up air to second up air, and there's another. See, I think a back air would have worked. I don't know. I don't know. Oh. I don't know. If Toon Link's back enough, but it... oh, back air totally would have worked when he was off yeah. stage like that. That was yeah. still a nice. That was For still sure. a nice. A nice forward smash. Only 15% here on Hugo. Yeah. He's looking pretty clean in this game, too. The adjustment has been made. Yeah. Chevy needed to make some adjustments, but I feel like Hugo made adjustments as well. Uh huh. And that's how you get from a two stock in game one to an even yeah. rougher two stock. Although right, right now, now Chevy, right now, yeah. yeah. Exactly as you were about to say. <laughs> He's got him in the corner now. That was. And you know. 
Huga is finding Chevy. He's like conf he's like kind of committing a little too hard now. I don't know if you saw is? Like, Chevy. Oh, like Chevy was like going for that forward smash. Yeah, it was kind of a reach, but he's definitely no reaching a little. And this is, okay, that that was the idea behind that was good. Yeah, I'd like the uh, grab release there. That did put Hugo in like a tricky situation. That was really nice. Mm -hmm. Hugo was definitely going for. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> that was that was that was a real that was really nice. Yeah, and that's uh, I think what Chevy was looking for when he made the grab release as well. He's looking to and try now and catch only, that tether. Only a thirty-eight percent deficit. And I now, still think yeah. I still think going to the platform and fireballs is not doing nothing though. Hugo is still feeling nothing from that. Yeah, look at this. He he gets to pull his bomb for free, and bomb is gonna lead to a lot more than fireball is. Yeah. All right, we got a grab release again. And these guys, they're, they're kind of retreating the neutral. And Chevy, I think, is starting to realize that he's got to come up with a little more than just Fireball. Yeah. Ooh, Whoa. that was awesome. Returning Boomerang to up to up air. That was Jab returning Boomerang. Yeah. He jabbed him <laughs> first to pop him up to make sure that the Boomerang would hit. That was awesome. Master of all of his options at any given time. And that yeah. won't kill yet. 109% here on Chevy, but Mario has been snacking. So he'll live. <laughs> Chevy's got to find another way in. He, he was doing pretty well, and then Hugo started to uh, get his groove back. And there, the, the question that I had at the beginning of the, the fireball strategy of that bomb to forward here is just Continue to, continue to talk Quick about it, well. the, That answer to the question is that, look at the bombs that went through the fireball at the end. Did you see that? It, it feels like, by the nature of the properties of both moves, fireball yeah. should beat bomb. But it looked like at the end there that